Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday, January 30th. Um, and friends, we begin our morning prayer with... <clears throat> Excuse me. We begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship God, who holds the world and its wonders in his creating hand. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, who holds the world and its wonders in his creating hand. Praise my soul, the King of heaven. To his feet your tribute bring. Ransom healed, restored, forgiven, evermore his praises sing. Alleluia, alleluia, praise the everlasting King. Praise him for his grace and favor to his children in distress. Praise him still the same as ever, slow to chide and swift to bless. Alleluia, alleluia, glorious in his faithfulness. Lord, you are near to us. All your ways are true. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Save us by the power of your hand, Father, for our enemies have ignored your words. May the fire of your word consume our sins and its brightness illumine our hearts. Lord, you are near to us, and all your ways are true. Wisdom of God be with me, always at work in me. God of my fathers, Lord of mercy, you who have made all things by your word, and in your wisdom have established man to rule the creatures produced by you, to govern the world in holiness and justice, and to render judgment in integrity of heart. Give me wisdom, the attendant at your throne, and reject me not from among your children. For I am your servant, the son of your handmaid, a man weak and short-lived, lack and lacking in comprehension of judgment and of laws. Indeed, though one be perfect among the sons of men, if wisdom who comes from you be not with him, he shall be held 
in no esteem. Now with you is wisdom, who knows your works, and was present when you made the world, who understands what is pleasing in your eyes and what is conformable with your commands. Send her forth from your holy heavens, and from your glorious throne dispatch her, that she may be with me and work with me, and that I may know what is your pleasure. For she knows and understands all things, and will guide me discreetly in my affairs, and safeguard me by her glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wisdom of God be with me, always at work in me. The Lord remains faithful to his promise forever. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, our Father, may all nations and peoples praise you. May Jesus, who is called faithful and true, and who lives with you eternally, possess our hearts forever. The Lord remains faithful to his promise forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. In everything you do, act without grumbling or arguing. Prove yourselves innocent and straightforward, children of God beyond reproach in the midst of a twisted and depraved generation, among whom you shine like the stars in the sky. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I cry to you, O Lord, for you are my refuge. I cry to you, O Lord, for you are my refuge. You are all I desire in the land of the living. For you are my refuge. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I cry to you, O Lord, for you are my refuge. Lord, shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. With confidence, let us pray to the Father who will that the Virgin Mary should, should surpass all creatures in heaven and earth. Look upon the mother of your Son and hear our prayer. We are grateful to you, Father of mercy, for you gave us Mary to be our mother and our model. Through her intercession, cleanse our hearts. Look upon the mother of your son and hear our prayer. <clears throat> 
you inspired Mary to be attentive to your word and faithful in your service. Through her intercession, give us the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Look upon the mother of your son and hear our prayer. You strengthened Mary at the foot of the cross and filled her with joy at the resurrection of your son. Through her intercession, relieve our distress and strengthen our hope. Look upon the mother of your son and hear our prayer. Gathering these prayers and our praises into one, and calling to mind all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. We lift up our voices together using those sacred words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, fountain and source of our salvation, may we proclaim your glory every day of our lives, that we may sing your praise forever in heaven. We ask this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours this morning. Um, beginning our day in prayer, um, let's just stay with the Lord all day long, um, resting with him, being with him. Uh, it's a good way to spend a, a Saturday morning uh, and indeed the whole day. So friends, uh, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all friends, remember to be holy today. All right, may God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.